Hi, this is Gary Fong. Today I'm going to be comparing the LightSphere Collapsible with the uh, pop-on uh, flash diffuser. Now these little guys uh, typically will come in your flash box, something that, uh, that comes with it, or you can purchase an aftermarket accessory like this one. This one's called the Stofen Omnibounce, and the Stofen, Stofen Omnibounce Model EY is made for the Canon 580EX. So this is a custom fit for each flash, which means that it's not universal fit. So if you change flashes later, like if you upgrade to a 600DX or if you have a Nikon SB900 and then uh, you know go down a 700, whatever, you'd, you'd have to buy a new diffuser each time. So, and then it's hard plastic against hard plastic. So you'll see that this is the, the shape and um, I'm not really able to get it all the way down, but but uh, that's basically how that works. So that's how that mounts. The um, mounting system is actually pretty strong because there's rubber on the side of the cannon body which will hold it. Now some of the bodies don't have uh, any rubberish on the side so you'll have hard plastic against hard plastic. The way that the the flash pattern is is it basically is the same shape as the flash head and the rule in lighting and photography is the softer the light the larger the light source so that's why when you're in a photography studio you'll see these big umbrellas these big soft boxes because that's how you get the soft light this one is the same size as the head so um, you basically get the same shape of light. If I go like that, and if I say, for example, you know, shoot with direct flash, this is basically what direct flash looks like, and that's because it is a one inch by two inch square size source of light. So let's keep that in mind. This is a source of light one inch by uh, two inches. Then if I go directly vertical like this, uh, if I'm going to shoot vertical shot, then I can either go like that, which would cast a very, very strong side shadow, and I'll show you this when my model gets here, we do our demonstrations, or I can shoot like this in vertical, but now in vertical I have actually even a smaller light source that's going to the subject. This is maybe one inch by one inch square. Additionally, we are bouncing light off the ceiling, but you'll notice that this is a frosted cap, and so that cuts power to the ceiling. Anytime that you have a die that's in um, in the plastic that basically masks the light coming through. It's like a coated, coated, uh, frosted, frosted cap. So that cuts efficiency. Here's the difference with the light sphere. Now the light sphere, in terms of the mounting, it's universal mount. So this will fit any, uh, pretty much any speed light uh, for the Canon series 430EX, the small head, all the way up to the 600EX RT large head. This one right here is one of the largest heads. This is a Canon 580EX2 and you'll see that when I put it on I just fold it on like that. So let's pull it up and what makes this one unique is of course the size of this diffuser. Look how large it is and also the efficiency. This one is not coated with any dye. You can see my fingers right through it but additionally look what happens when I uh, set the light up. It's these horizontal rings here that give it the intensity which changes the way that people think about diffusers. A lot of times people think well diffusers lose a lot of light and we've worked to make these things more efficient. Also it's open to the top so if I'm shooting the ceiling I'm not masking it with anything um, and this is really about the only solution that you have where you can have a mix of complete omnidirectional light where the light goes completely around the room just like a lampshade or, um, and, then, and then open to the top. Now if I want to shoot vertical or horizontal, it doesn't matter. So it's all the same size. Here's another thing too. I think you saw when I was taking off that other cap diffuser, it's a little bit of jimmy to take off. Do I stick it in my pocket? Where do I put it? The neat thing about the light sphere collapsible is that I can just go like that and I don't have to take it off. So this can stay on the entire shoot. You'll notice the red window stays completely visible so you can uh, have your autofocus assist and the other functions like infrared triggering and uh, uh, thyristor light metering through this bottom thing here. Okay, also uh, the light sphere collapsible has of course it comes with this dome and the dome allows you to shoot directly straight forward if you want outdoors and give you a lot of power but also this really pretty frosted cap. So look how look how bright this um, this cap is but it's a real snow white kind of a light. 
and look at the difference in the size between the two. So those are the basic differences in the mounting and the physical characteristics of the diffuser. Now let's go to the model and I'll show you a before and after uh, spread. Now what I'm going to do in the test to show you the comparison between the two is I've got basically two cameras that are firing at the exact same time. I'm going to have a little infrared remote control that will trigger both cameras to fire. One camera will be on my model and the other one will be a wide angle lens showing the dispersion of the light so we can see how evenly it lights the room. And that's what we want to do because we want to see how much of the light is unidirectional which means it's coming in one direction only just like say a small window in a dark room, picture that. Or if it's omnidirectional, like a uh, lampshade, so um, you know, a lampshade in a in a large room, so and that's what we're trying to find. We're trying to find the light that's the softest that will make the room completely uh, part of the light, as, as well as the ceiling, as well as the fill from the front, to give us the most flattering uh, lighting that looks natural. It also looks like it's kind of like outdoors on a cloudy day. Okay, so let's go to the tests. Now the way I'm going to trigger both flashes simultaneously is by using this remote commander. And uh, both cameras are set to remote commander, so when I squeeze this button, both of them will fire simultaneously. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so that's the flash pattern of just the one uh, on-camera flash directly. Now let's go to bounce. We'll just go bounce as shot number two, and they'll both fire. Okay, so that's the flash pattern of the bounce. Uh, let's do something that uh, some people will do, and that's to use that pull-up tab. So that'll be shot number three, like that. Okay, and so this is the pull-out tab. Okay, good. And now let's put on the Stofen. We'll put the Stofen on uh, directly at the subject so you can see. So we'll just go ahead and mount that like that. And we'll do one. Okay, good. Here we go. And they're both going to fire. Okay, so that's the Stofen. That's the Stofen directly at the subject. We'll do the Stofen in vertical. And so, now according to the directions, always aim it at a 45 degree angle toward your subject. So, like that. Okay. And let's go ahead and fire. Okay. Let's do the light sphere. So I'm just going to smash this flat, mount it straight on top like this, and we're going to pull it at a 45 degree angle, push down until it's all flush, and then pop this guy up like that. Okay, now let's do the light sphere. Great. Okay.